Good day everyone! It's me again, Teacher Arnold Pepanio of San Jamayor Elementary School. Are you ready to learn something new today? After knowing how humans and animals reproduce, today I will discuss to you how plants reproduce. We can see different types of plants everywhere. They differ in size, color, shape, smell, and even in their mode of reproduction. Do you know that plants reproduce sexually? What? Yes, you heard it right. Plants reproduce sexually. So it means that the plant has a male part and a female part? Well, yes. So how do plants reproduce sexually? Flower is an accessory organ of the plants used in sexual reproduction. These are the parts of the flower. Receptacle, sepal, petal, stamen, and pistil or carpel. Receptacle is the thickened stem part attached to the peduncle and is where the flower or group of flowers grows. Sepals are modified leaves which enclose and protect the other parts of a flower when it is still a bud. When the flower blooms, the sepal supports the bottom of the flower. A group of sepals is called calyx. Petals form the most obvious part of the flower. Most petals are brightly colored to attract the insects for pollination. A group of petal is called corolla. Stamen is the male part of the flower. It consists of the filament and the anther. The filament holds the anther in a position. It is tall enough to release the pollen. The anther consists of two lobes that contains the pollen sacs. Pollen sacs have pollen rings that are released by the anther when they mature. Pistil or carpel is the female part of a flower. It consists of a stigma, style, and ovary. The stigma is a swollen structure at the end of the style. It receives the pollen grains. The style is a stalk that connects the stigma to the ovary. Plant sexual reproduction happens when pollen grains are transferred from the anthers, the male part, into the stigma, the female part. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma is called pollination. Pollination is usually brought by wind, insects, or birds animals, and other agents that aid in sexual reproduction of plants are called agents of pollination. There are two kinds of pollination, the cell pollination and the cross pollination. Cell pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or of different flower that belongs to the same plant. Cross-pollination is a transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of another flower that belongs to another plant but of the same kind. Once a pollen grain enters the stigma, it swells and grows a long tube that travels through the style until it reaches the ovary. The tube releases the sperm cells into the ovule to fertilize the egg cell. The fertilized egg cell and the ovule itself develops into a seed. The ovary then enlarges and thickens its walls to become a fruit. This seed can eventually grow into a new plant.